Let's play. Hi friends, welcome back to Rational Gamer. This is me, Evil Nancy's, and today we are gonna continue Devil May Cry 3. I'm playing as Dante, and the difficulty is normal. The mission is number six. So let's begin this. Let's load the save game and load mission six. As you can see, it's on normal difficulty with the default uh, outfit. But I'm using a mod here to change the default outfit. You will see it in a minute. But let me just reconfirm my style here, which is which was actually Royal Guard in last mission. If you have seen my video where I fought with Agni and Rudra. That's why I switched to Royal Guard because I was so afraid to face those guys because I get confused, you know, in the normal difficulty because this is not an easy game, especially for beginners like me. So I plan to level up the Swordmaster style first. So that's why I keep choosing that style. For mission six, uh, if you are a beginner, then trickster style is recommended, but I will try to uh, live with the Swordmaster style. We have only two guns, Abney and Ivory plus shotgun. And we need to choose now between Rebellion, Cerberus and Agni and Rudra. Agni and Rudra is a new weapon. So in this mission there's not a lot of fire if I remember correctly. And I don't know if I want to use Agni and Rudra because it's especially for crowd control and so is for the Cerberus. But Cerberus is my favorite weapon so I think for the sake of just this mission I will choose Agni and Rudara instead of Rebellion. Yeah, the signature Devil Arm Rebellion. I'm just gonna leave that for now. Let's go back by pressing the escape key. And uh, should I buy something? I don't know how many stars, vital stars I have. I have no vital stars small, but I have one vital star large from the previous missions. So far we still haven't got the devil trigger ability so we cannot buy it, right? Yeah. Yet. Then we can buy holy water which is very expensive in 10,000 orbs. Not really gonna buy that now. Maybe when I face Beowulf. But what about this one? This is 15,000 really? Oh god, that's so expensive and also the gold orb is so much expensive as well. 10,000, I'm not gonna waste any money here. I still got one vital star large and my life has been upgraded twice using the blue orbs. One we purchased from the divinity statue and one we gathered throughout the secret areas etc. Now let's buy some action for maybe Cerberus or Agni and Rudra. We can upgrade the revolver to level 2. Which will do what? An enhanced version of revolver with increased spiral velocity. Hold down right bumper plus forward on left stick plus Y. Enhanced version of revolver with increased spiral velocity. I don't know if I should. But let's see. What about the windmill? It only has one level and let's go back. Oh no. Let's switch to the next weapon, Agni and Rudra, by pressing the lock on button, which is remapped in my case to the left shift key. By the way, you can remap your PC controls. I'm playing on PC. Let me remind you once again, I'm on Windows 10. And you can remap the PC controls for good if you check my video how to use uh, how to remap the Devil May Cry 3 controls. If you search on Irrational Gamer, better controls for Devil May Cry 3. So we have upgrades here like Jetstream level 2 and uh, slash through multiple enemies with increased speed in this powered up version of Jetstream. Hold down target block plus forward on left stick then hold down Y. 
jet stream. Maybe it will come handy sometime. So maybe I should get this one. Whirlwind. By spinning at supersonic speeds, your two swords slash through enemies with the power of fire and wind. Hold lock on plus back on left stick, then press the attack button. This looks also promising. What about air hike? Uh, I need to buy air hike for each weapon. That thing sucks in this game. Even though I can use DDMK to enable the air hike for all the weapons, but I'm not gonna use any cheats here for the first time. So I'm thinking about these two here, jet stream and level, uh, level two whirlwind. Which one should I buy? Jet stream or level two? This comes in seven thousand five hundred, and this comes in ten thousand. Oh god! So maybe I'll use whirlwind. I'll buy this, and we have four thousand three hundred and fifty orbs left. This one costs too much. Twenty thousand. Are you guys serious? Let's go back. Let's. Upgrade our gun if we can. No, 10,000 each. Ebony and Ivory is already on level 2. So, let's start the mission. Enough chit chat here. Let's begin this. Make sure you subscribe to Rational Gamer Mission 6 Family Ties. Clear the trial and forge a new path. By the way, I'm not live streaming this time, I'm just recording. Because there are so many power cuts, power interruptions when I'm live streaming and that won't be a good idea. Now we want to go through this door but wreckage is obstructing the path you can't go any further. So we need to insert something here. The Gore statue's piercing stair is focused on the front door. That means we need to add three things here or maybe two. So let's see. Let's go this way. Remember we have Cerberus and Agni and Rudra and we have bought Whirlwind. I never noticed this move before. How can I miss this? Maybe I was only concentrating on style moves of Agni and Rudra and Cerberus. So now we only have Whirlwind. Uh, which will, which should launch the enemy into the air and we have revolver level 1 and windmill, oh yeah. Also we are on swordmaster style. I don't know, I think I should have stayed with the trickster, but let's see. It's a good thing that you can stay in the air with Agni and Rudra for so long. Okay. Let's see what this one this one says. Passing one trial still shows lacking. Passing two trials expands horizons. Passing all trials unlocks one's true potential. That means there are three paths you can take. Two are essential to move forward to next mission. But if you complete all three of these, you will actually get a bonus weapon. Should I say bonus? I don't know. The Artemis gun. So let's take the left one first. Uh, I forgot to read the info on all. So this is your wisdom will be put to the test in the chamber had used your lifetime experience. From the crawling infant to the man standing tall and finally to the old man leaning on his cane. That explains it all. So this is your wisdom test. From crawling infant, that means infant crawls on four legs. So you need to go here where there are four lights. And you will be back in the same room now to the man standing, standing tall. That means a man stands on two legs. So you need to go in this room where there are two lights. And finally, when a man gets old, uh, he walks on his legs, barely walks on his legs and he uses a cane. That means he has three legs. So if you go there, 
you will be rewarded with something and then you will be fighting some demons i suppose not now dante a sense of intelligence Impalable knowledge of the ancients once offered this to the goddess to open a new path. We need to collect three of these, I guess, or two minimum. You are a boss unless there are no enemies on the screen, so let's fight. No? Really? That's cool. No, we need to choose a path carefully else there will be enemies, you will be punished you have to fight different enemies so i feel like i want to do that but i don't want to do that so let's go back to the one light which will take you back to the same area now it's time to check this one your technique will be put to the test in the chamber ahead overcome the onslaught of obstacles to guarantee your future wish this game had a quick save auto save Checkpoint save, etc. Oh my god, they didn't know someone would play in a country where there are random power cuts. I don't know if you can actually save this game by going to the menu and clicking save data, replacing. That will only save your orbs, I guess. But once you restart, you will have to restart from the mission. So I don't know what's the purpose of saving the game here. I did it anyway. So I don't know what happens when you reload. Someone tell me down in the comment section when you see this. Okay. We need to dodge a lot of fights. So pray for me and pray for Dante as I'm not using. Uh, quick stuff. Come on, come on, turn the radio on. It's Friday night and it won't be long. Come on, a sense of technique. Masterful techniques of the ancients one. Offer this to the goddess to open a new path. All the traps have gone, but to our surprise, the enemies are back. Ah! The bastard hit me. I should switch to Agni and Rudra. I should kill these guys who try to throw sandstorm on you. Now I should finish the Goliath. That's the correct name. I hate these guys. I should spam my new bout scale, whirlwind. Come on, wimp. Any more of you? Is that it? Ah, uh, that's sad. I wasn't very stylish here, I know, but I got two items, and let's go get the third one where you need to find double trigger damage. Your warrior's heart will be put to the test in the chamber ahead, light all of the crests to express the evil spirit's rage. I love riddles, but you know what's gonna be in there. Oh my god, here come the devil triggered enemies which you usually face that I heard in, on the DMD difficulty. Dante must die mode. You need to light these emblems on the walls first in order to remove the devil trigger from them. That's so hard. The one is lit. That means I should go to the second one ASAP, ASAP. I should switch to the Cerberus. Wow, here I come with the revolver, Mr. Hellsloth or Hellgreed or whatever you are. Come on, turn them on, turn the radio on. Here's my, oh my god. I was gonna say, here's my windmill. Oh 
die already, man. We haven't got... Oh, they are once again devil triggered. The blue aura, the blue smoke around them tells you that they are devil triggered. And stop hitting them because that won't do any good. You need to... Oh my god. I can hear things already. How was it? You still alive? There are so many. That's why I bought the revolver, guys. Oh my god. He went through the revolver. That's not a safe option. Oh, he's travel trigger once again. Both of them. And they can teleport. That's not a good sign. <laughs> I'm about to level up on the sword master if you look at the top left of your screen that's a good news isn't it oh no don't don't do that there we go oh my god more enemies the Cerberus is looking very useless here uh, maybe I'm not good at using it Come and get me. Come and get me. Come on, come on. Here we go. Finally, some action. We need to collect that ASAP. I mean, you can take all the time in the world if you want. The sense of fighting. The fighting spirit of the ancients once. Offer this to the goddess to open a new path. Alrighty then. We got three. This is the first time I got three. Maybe I don't remember because I only played on the easy difficulty twice and beat this game. This is the first time I'm trying on normal. I, I know second fight with the Virgil will be very difficult. But lucky for us, this is a very short mission. And there are no bosses in this mission. Offer the three items. The essence of fighting. Nothing happened. And uh, a sense of technique. That will open up the door. I don't care about the secret missions so far because I'm not very good at this game. Also offer the third item. A sense of intelligence. And boom. There's a gift for you. Artemis. A gun of the demon world that discharges arrows concentrated with demon energy now here's a bonus tip secret tip jump on this one if you can i don't know if i can can i oh i should have done that before because there are red orbs on no there aren't okay there are actually you can do that after obtaining that gun as well there you go and you need to destroy this combat adjuster in order to get a reward to make sure I don't know which rank we need to get here uh, that was a lucky break we got a blue orb fragment and that's a very good thing in this game. And there's also a secret mission above there, I don't remember. But I'm not interested in secret missions, only orb fragment, blue orbs, green orbs, red orbs, etc. Now there are red orbs on top of the columns and you can try to get as many as you can. And if you have trickster, they are actually easy to get. But they are not hard to obtain by using double jump if you have time. Oh. So take your time and try to get all of them. I'm not going to get all of those. The mission has been finished. There's a cutscene. I'm going to skip this. 
So I'm recording this time instead of live streaming, I told you already. There are two reasons. One is the power cut. And the second one is I can better uh, edit my audio of microphone and game sound after post processing. Let's save the game replays. And let's go to the next mission which is mission number seven where you will meet your brother for the first time after a year mission number seven a chance meeting duel of the demon demon children i will see you in the next mission devil may cry 3 hd collection come on wimp goodbye <laughs>